It's not a clotting disorder. Which means we need to come up with a better idea. So what causes problems in the stomach, heart, nerves? Oh my God. You know what it is? Taub's wife gave the green light for an open marriage. He's wearing cologne, but not the stink of shame. You got a date? I am going out with Maya tonight, with Rachel's blessing. Mazel tov? Maybe the problem isn't her blood. Maybe it's the vessels carrying the blood. No sign of schistocytes or hemolysis. So you're actually going to sleep with another woman, then go home to your wife? Thank God, someone's keeping us focused on what's really important. Taub was going to do all of that anyway. Pulmonary arterial hypertension. Imaging showed normal diameter in her pulmonary artery. Here's a thought. Taub's wife is now totally on the market. Mind hitting me with her digits? She would love that, but duty calls. What's the matter? My stomach. The same pain as before? Yeah. Worse. Get the portable ultrasound in here. We need to get a look at her belly. Help me. Pain, pain went away. Came back another day. Question is, what brought it back? Physical exam was unrevealing. Ultrasound was clean. So afterwards, you're going to shower at your girlfriend's or at home? Patient, abdominal pain. Yeah, he's right. Let's get this wrapped up before six. Taub turns back into a faithful pumpkin at midnight. The patient was out with a boy toy before she came in. Maybe the pain was triggered by sexual excitement. Because lying alone in a hospital bed contemplating bankruptcy? Hot. My point was that arousal is a function of the parasympathetic nervous system. If that's where the problem is, the pain could be triggered by crying, which seems... PNS also controls digestion, which she's been doing without screaming her head out since she's been here. What if what matters isn't when the pain started, but when it stopped? It was during an x-ray. You think that cured her? No, but House prepped her for the x-ray with a barium enema. Yeah, it wouldn't treat anything except... Go. You're in pain because part of your intestine folded in on itself. It's called an intersusception. It's cutting off blood flow. We need to fix it before your bowel gets necrotic and dies. Once you do that, will I get better? When this happens in adults, it's usually a sign of abdominal cancer. We'll fix the overlap and then search your intestine for tumors. Phone? I have a bad feeling about this. A friend can't spontaneously buy an overpriced Italian espresso machine for another friend. What did you do? Nothing. That's the beauty. I genuinely tried to help Wilson. I told him to stand up for himself, which you know is legitimate advice. And his relationship blew up. Is he okay? Back, he'll be fine. Point is, I realized something. I do nice things. Nice things happen to me. Karma works. So you're paying it forward? If this should somehow lead to Lucas dying or oral sex, so be it. Namaste. Think I should wear a tie tonight? This isn't weird at all. I mean, Where's Rachel eating tonight? Home. What if she's going out too? She's allowed to, right? Of course, it's only fair. But I don't think she will. Your wife only eats dinner at home. If she did go out, that'd be tough. But I think I can handle it. Don't do it unless you're sure. I know I'd rather be jealous than a liar. Got something here. Kelly clamp and scalpel. Biopsy showed non-specific inflammation, which suggests IBD only that doesn't explain the cardiac problems. Or her declining kidney function. We ran panels during surgery. Actually, IBD does make sense. So it could trigger ankylosing spondylitis, which would explain the heart and the kidneys. Start around sulfasalazine and TNF inhibitors. Oh, and Taub. I'm not gonna see you before you head off for Gamora. Just remember, if you get disoriented, breathe through your nose and look for the horizon. Treatment's not working. 
Left kidney fell last night. The other one's right behind it. It's not ankylosing spondylitis. Kidney biopsy showed she had IgA nephropathy, which could be caused by or associated with any of these conditions. We've gone from too few ideas to too many, and our patient's running out of time. Why the lack of afterglow? Physio girl, not as freaky as you'd hoped. I went home with my wife. <sighs> After all that, you chickened out. I can't hurt Rachel like that. Sickle cell anemia would have shown on blood tests, no flattened intestinal villi rules out celiac. Seriously? <laughs> Our patient's dying and we can't move past my sex life? Seriously, you think it'd kill her if we spent 15 seconds mocking you? Time's up. Normal liver enzymes rules out hep B and cirrhosis. Alport and NTGBM antibody are both untreatable, so if she has them, we can't help her. And it can't be Henoch Schoenlein purpura, no inciting respiratory infection, and no rash. I don't care what it's not. I want to know what it could be. Well, everything left on the, the list. The list was not created equal. Neither was man, by the way. Hemochromatosis is a possibility. Excess iron builds up, causes problems throughout the body. Well, syndrome also affects multiple organ systems, and it wouldn't have been treated by the antibiotic the ER gave her. Sarcoidosis makes sense, too. Good. Treat for those three. I think you should call Tom. Am I going to die? I don't know. If he walked in here right now, I'd look in his face and all I would think is liar. Don't you think that's kind of unfair? You say honesty is all important, but you conveniently ignore the truth that some truths hurt people. Tom lied to protect you. He was covering his ass. And I'm not talking about the money. Tom hasn't slept with anyone else in over a year. He told you that? So my entire marriage is a sham. No. Your husband, who only wants you, lied so that you could be happy. That seems pretty real to me.